Hey, I'm James Lavelle from Moax and Uncle, and I'm in Amoeba, one of the best record shops in the world. Wow, where would I like to start? I'll start with a film that I love very much and I love the director and I think his cinematography sums up how I look at Los Angeles in many ways and that's Michael Mann. So Heat, probably his finest film. I used to come to LA a lot. If LA was the first place I came to in America. One of the big things for me was being inspired by film. Growing up in England was always very black and white, and America just felt like Technicolor. It's not around anymore, so it doesn't matter, but I'd always go to the DVD section of Virgin Records as a kind of my first thing to do when I got to the hotel. I'd go there and find whatever DVDs that hadn't been released. I do what I do best. I take scores. You do what you do best, trying to stop guys like me. I was staying in downtown. I was with my, my friend who, who was, who's come on the trip with me and um, we looked out at the light and we both were just like, oh, we're in a Michael Mann movie. So there you go. If you get a chance, you go to a, a tall rooftop bar or pool or whatever and at that sort of golden hour, you will see the legacy of Michael Mann. This is a film that I love, THX 1138. It's the first George Lucas film. It's probably his best ever film as far as being a director, not as a concept. Star Wars is amazing. Did you hear that? As a piece of cinema, this film is incredibly important. My time is yours. It was made when he was working with American Zoetrope, which was Francis Ford Coppola. The two men who founded American Zoetrope shared a common vision. I was very um, inspired by George Lucas and had a massive influence on Moax. But this film is, is an incredibly interesting film for anybody that hasn't seen it because it's very apt in the world we live in now. Stay calm. Be happy. Here's a doorway. There's a new edition of uh, of The Tree of Life, which has a, a, a director's cut, which I haven't seen. And one of my favourite artists of all time, and this is a, a really good documentary that I've only seen once because it was only broadcast in America, so I'm taking that home. The word got out in the art world very quickly that there was a genius <laughs> working in Anina's basement. If anybody has never read the original, The Watchmen, they need to. It's probably one of the greatest novels ever written, and it's a graphic novel, but it's, it is the greatest graphic novel ever written. It's attempted in many occasions to be turned into a film. There was a film that came out. now being made into an HBO TV show, which I think is very interesting. For all those that don't know, it's about the psychology of why somebody would want to become a superhero. It's quite extraordinary, but dealing with a lot of politics that we're dealing with now, and, and Alan Moore, who wrote it, who I think is one of the most prophet-like writers of his generation, has been, like George Orwell, was very ahead of the curve in, in the context of how we live our lives now. He was very much one of the first people to talk about there's going to be surveillance that's going to follow us throughout our lives and how we're going to be in a much more controlled global system. Go and read the, the original if you haven't, it's extraordinary. At midnight, all the agents. Wherever you go, you sort of find different compilations and sort of, I don't know if they are bootlegs, but they do sort of come across. They're not no with their official old labels anyway. So, but I love finding compilations of artists. That a lot of their lost tracks or whatever would be put together. And so I just found there was a Rakim, who I think is one of the greatest rappers of all time. The Alpha and Omega, no doubt an innovator. And a De La Soul. I've got a pretty good knowledge of 
beginning of hip hop into the sort of the early 2000s. And so there's a few things on here that I don't know, so I'm kind of intrigued to, to know what they are. Pass Prince the Peace on his jeans of the bones, but let the herd know if beef they want to throw. Lunches of punches is what I bestow. Nana Cherry's new record came out, which I thought was sounding really good and was produced by one of the best electronic producers in the world right now, Fortet. It also has collaborations with 3D for Massive Attack, who is one of my heroes, and she was one of the reasons I got into, into music. She was the first person to engage with a DJ crew called The Wild Bunch. They went on to start Massive Attack and Soul to Soul, which was pretty much the basis of everything that I loved about British. I don't know what, what, what kind of urban music, the beginning of sound system DJ culture in the UK. But if you mind, Her single Manchild was written by 3D from Massive Attack. And Buffalo Stance was originally, I think called Hang In With A Wild Bunch, and it was the B-side of a single by her husband. I make a move, nothing left to chance, so don't you get fresh with me. Photographer. So it was a very famous photographer in London in the late 80s called Jamie Morgan. Jamie Morgan was part of starting a fashion scene called Buffalo. Buffalo was very much sort of taking quite tailored, smart clothing, but in a street aesthetic. Vivian Westwood had quite an influence in it. If you ever see the Buffalo with Vivian Westwood's cheap skin jacket, it's like the ultimate cheap skin piece. And as a kid, these were the people you saw in magazines that you just, they were the sort of OGs for me growing up. I picked this single up randomly, not because of the artist, unfortunately, because of the shape. Don't wanna see you grind, when I first came here, me and Shadow would jump in his car and drive for days throughout California, going to sort of vintage record stores. One of the things that I loved, which was very prevalent in America, was strange records and packaging. You'd have incredible sort of National Geographic box sets and die-cut records. In the 50s, they had serial packet records. They'd have these cardboard records that you'd cut out. Inside the serial packet, you'd have a mirror board that you'd put on top of the record. And just these incredible gimmicky formats. It just reminds me of collecting records, you know, back in the day here. We were just walking down Fairfax, just went to Tyler the Creator's store. He's somebody in LA that I think is really interesting, really cool. That whole Odd Future crew and where it's spread out to, I think is been one of the most interesting sort of groups of artists come out for me in the last sort of uh, few years in America. This artist is an artist called James Mason and it's a, it's a jazz funk disco record. It's one of my favorite records of all time. One of the reasons being, it's one of, it's one of the first records I ever heard Charles Peterson play. I then read in a magazine that was this record shop called Honest John's and they were getting all these records in and they were gonna get James Mason in. So I went down to the store, that's how I got a job there and I bought the album. Ain't got time for looking back, moving much too quickly. This brings me back right to the beginning when I first started DJing, Maze. Twilight was kind of one of these massive sound system records where you'd hear them, you know, blueses and underground sort of soul parties. And I just saw it on the wall. I thought of Goldie because he put this in his top five favorite records of all time. And it just reminded me of, of being a kid and the kind of records you'd hear in, in that scene. It's a B-side track. It's an instrumental kind of, but it's just a lot of memories. Maybe I can leave it with this, actually. It's probably the best record I ever released. It's not from LA, but it's a West Coast record, but it's got a lot of LA in its heart and a lot of London, so I think this record sums up my relationship with the West Coast in many ways and, and many amazing times. And this record kind of defined and changed everything for me as a as a and r man and as a record label, so I'm very proud of it. Thank you so much. For my pleasure. Cool.